Our next team brings together professors, undergrads, and PhD candidates from the University of Florida and proudly flies their Gators colors. Let's hear it for Team Gator Wings. Tan Wong, John Shea, David Green, Tyler Ward, Caleb Bowyer, and Marco Menendez. There is a spectrum crunch, and I think the spectrum crunch this year is different than the spectrum crunch a decade ago. Now when we look 4G to 5G, what we see is that spectrum and 5G isn't just a matter of better phones. It's probably going to be the engine for innovation in the next 10 years. The demands for spectrum are going to continue to increase, although both the military and the civilian side both want to take advantage of those capabilities. If we continue on our current course, we're going to have problems powering our wireless future. But if we can find new ways to be creative with spectrum policy, I think we're going to see a lot more innovation in the days ahead. Welcome to the Spectrum Collaboration Challenge Championship event. These teams will witness the culmination of years of hard work as their autonomous radio designs compete in a virtual arena created by DARPA for a $2 million grand prize. What if we didn't have the safety afforded to us today by the FCC? Could we make radios that are smart enough to be able to manage the spectrum all by themselves? We're calling this match Saving Private Scatter. So this is actually the hardest zone because Scatter has to contend with both the interference from the north as well as the interference from the south. Once again, let's check out Zelenium clearly going into Hulk mode here, right, in the middle of this. Right off the bat, right, you, you can see how the spectrum changes as they fly over the ground crews. This is incredibly impressive that they're able to navigate and get that high priority traffic to lift Almost 340% spectrum occupancy. Tension is very high here while the lower scoring team will be eliminated and their journey in this competition will come to an end. Scatter and Andersons are duking it out over which one of them will be going to the dreaded elimination. This is shaping up to be a battle between dark horse competitors. You guys had a very altruistic approach, but unfortunately not able to be successful here today. We've got the final five set, let's go. This is anyone's game still at this point. Oh, okay, there we there go. We go. We're bonus. Now we're over the bonus line. Gator Wings, though, putting the pedal to the metal. Yeah, okay, we've got two priority flows now from Andersons. Oh, and there goes there Linium, goes displacing, Linium displacing, displacing Gator Wings. Gator Wings. Uh, there's lock. not a lot of distance between Gator Wings and the finish line, Paul. All right, and here we have there it, we the go. winning teams. <laughs> Folks, today we've witnessed the dawn of a new frontier in wireless. For the first time, we've seen AI-enabled radios collaborating autonomously, unlocking the true potential of the RF spectrum. Our competitors packed 3.5 times more wireless signals into the spectrum than we're capable of today. Our teams outperformed static allocations and demonstrated greater performance than current wireless standards like LTE. The paradigm of collaborative AI and wireless is here to stay and will propel us from spectrum scarcity to spectrum abundance. All right, guys, come on up. Make your way to the stage. Let's do this. And finally, for the grand prize of $2 million, the Spectrum Collaboration Challenge Champions, the award goes to Gator Wing. Great job, guys. Congratulations, guys. Great work. Congratulations. Great job. Fantastic. We pulled it out. Fantastic. All right, let's make some way for Team Gator Wings here in the middle. John or Tan, who wants to hold the coveted trophy? All right, here you go, Tan. Great job, guys. Great work, guys. Fantastic.